Dane, obviously fantastic win for you for you guys, but just um, on the fielding, what do you put those drop catches, because that was poor by your standards? Yeah, look, um, to be honest, I don't know. Um, I don't know what to put it down to. It's just, um, you know, against New Zealand, we saw that that's the big moments and it's almost as if we, we don't realise it's the big moments and I don't know if it's a concentration thing, was it because we scored close to 200, I don't know, um, but it's definitely a concern and um, it's something we sp speak long and hard about and you know it's not, it's not like we don't do fielding when we are training, it's just, um, yeah I think it's just maybe a concentration thing when the ball goes up and yeah, I, to be honest I don't know what it, if I knew it, what it was I would have quick fixed it a long time ago. <laughs> Well, it's not just you. We've we've actually seen a, quite a lot of poor fielding in this World Cup again yeah. by by the standards. Is there are there technical issues out there? Do you think, or is it not the right kind of training? Training under lights, for example. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, look, you're spot on with, with the standard throughout the competition. I mean, we watched, we try and watch most of the games and um, actually watched one of the, I don't know which one, but I, I sat there and said, um, you know, fielding's going to be the difference. And, and we still do believe that. Um, Hilton, our coach, said he feels like one of the best fielding teams is going to go far in this competition. And we, tr we try to strive to be one of the best. And, um, yeah, if we put performances on like this, it, we're very far from that. Um, we have a very quick turnaround against Pakistan, so I think it's going to be a mental shift and not a. It can't be. It can't be a physical shift because I mean we don't. We only have a small, small time to, to obviously get get ready for the Pakistan game. But again, I don't know. Um, you know, hopefully the standard goes up. I think maybe it's nerves. You know, early in the comp, if we can put it down to a lot of things. <laughs> what do you expect the challenge to be from Pakistan? They looked significantly improved in their first game against West Indies. They barely put a foot wrong. Um, do, you, do you expect them to be a, a level up from the last time you played them? Absolutely. Um, you know, I said to Lazar when we walked here, they just, you know, they've got like a skip in their step. Um, you know, they, they look like a very energetic team. They look ready. Um, you know, you can, you can feel the ener energy bumping off them. And I got excited for the game against them because I know it's going to be hard fought. And... Um, yeah, I think obviously subcontinent team. We know it's spinner. They're going to spin it away. But um, having said that, I think they batted really well against Pristini's. Um, you know, they getting the ones and rotating the strike was was a standout. And we know we know how good Pakistan is, especially in ICC tournaments. They're one of those teams that um, you know it brings out the best in them. Uh, we're definitely not going to take. Uh, not, not not even one over lightly against them. I think it's going to be a very difficult game. How, how priceless is it having someone like Ishmael in your attack, knowing you've got someone who can be that point of difference? And we saw a hit 125 Ks against England in the first game. What confidence does, does that give you as a, as a captain, having that up your sleeve? It's nice because um, yeah, not, not many teams face that. And um, yeah, she's, she's an X-factor bowler. And what I like about her, is she loves being aggressive. So as a captain, when I want to be aggressive, she's all for that. She's, she's never been defensive as a person and never been uh, defensive in her cricket. So um, the more she gets fired up, the quicker she bowls. So um, as a captain, I try and fire up as, as much as possible, just try and say the wrong thing before she goes to bowl. And then, <laughs> okay, I know I'm going to get a couple of, you know, after the drop catch today, she got fired up and I could see she was really getting into, um, uh, into her action. Um, yeah, look, she's she's incredible. Um, I'm very lucky to have her in my team. I always say it's it's nice to have people like that uh, playing with you and not against you. Um, having said that, I, st I still stand by. I've got three of the best quicks in the world in Marizan, Cup, Shibnam and um, Ayabunga Kaka. Um, Pakistan were a bit of a surprise package against the West Indies. Um, you, you, know, you might call them a banana peel. Are you glad that you're playing them afterwards so you sort of have a bit of an idea of what they're capable of? Yeah, it's always nice to see what um, you know where they've where they've gone since we've played them at home. And um, yeah, again, they've uh, improved massively as a team, and uh, it's just nice to see obviously hitting areas, the uh, the ones and all those things, so we can you know, formulate a game plan around that. And um, I think it, it works in our favour, but it's easy to say that we have to execute those plans. So, yeah, it's definitely back to the drawing board tonight already and, and try and sort it out before we get into Sydney tomorrow. 
And just on those plans, and and perhaps looking back at today, and and maybe the intensity dropping, or is it perhaps coming off a you know a really emotional win against England, getting that you know breaking that streak of losses, um, just feel a bit flat after that playing against Thailand. It's a difficult one because as a team, you, you'd always say you don't want to take you don't want to take a team like Thailand lightly because there was just some really good positives coming from from their camp and watching their game. So you can you can easily uh, find yourself wanting if you if, if you take a team for granted. But always in the back of your mind, knowing the inexperience um, as a side, maybe you do take it a bit um, lighter than any other game. You know your intensity drops. Um, you know, I personally mind sometimes drop as well. Um, so yeah, I think, yeah, I guess I, I actually don't know <laughs> to be honest. I yeah. And just quickly, what's um, I guess what have you been most impressed with from Thailand? Um, I guess they're bowling. I mean, they've been striking up front uh, consistently. Uh, they, I think, the bowling when we watch them, myself and Azaf formulated the game plan, which I didn't stick to, but um, <laughs> not even close. Um, yeah, we knew that they, they were going to come at us, straight at us, um, hitting the stumps early, and I think that's what they've been doing really well. Um, a lot of teams weren't uh, patient with them in the first three overs. They wanted to get on top of them where we felt like we can be a bit more patient and cash in later if we have wickets in hand. But look, they, they're fielding their energy in the field, their arms. Um, you know, it's one of those teams that you don't really want to take that quick single because they... Um, they, they're onto the ball very quickly and um, yeah, the, the striking of the ball as well. They hit some of our hands really hard today and um, yeah, that, there's, there's so many positive coming from them. I'm, I'm really um, stoked for them to be here at this, this tournament. They've put a lot of smiles on, on a lot of people's faces and I know it might not be enough for them, but um, you know, coming up against a team like that, it just takes you back to why you started playing the game and why you actually really love the game because you can, you know, when everything's high pressure and, and you want to win, you, you kind of like go away from that. And to have a team like Thailand, yeah, it just brings you back down to earth and it, it makes you realise, like, you know, there's, there's, there's more to the game than, than actually the game itself. So, yeah, I wish them really well, though. I do.